אני חושב כמל יגיד דחות בנבים בה and we all sitting down because the entrance to the Masjid al-Nur is in the center of the building so the gunman came in we heard like faint shots like you know it's not too loud but as he approached he came in and he shot and then the the shots went right through to the front of the mosque because it can't go far it's a big bullet and we all felt this and we naturally went to the left and to the right mm. so I just um, went to my left side and uh, there was a brother in front of me and he just came into my chest and I held him I held him quiet and mm. against my chest and I just felt uh, like a very big bang on my uh, bum and burning like really intense and he shot me through my bum and then I didn't feel through my yes. calf and my ankle <coughs> and I just laid on my left side and he was behind me because I'm facing the wall and I could hear the music he was some some funny music he was playing mm. but that's between the gunshots and the mm. screams and everything and I just lay there I just recited my caliber and uh, just kept quiet because I know he's looking for movement and I did say to this brother you know just keep quiet and he also said later on to me keep quiet because we thought this guy is gone but then he came back because this guy was going in and out and as he was going out the masjid the masjid he was actually still shooting so it was getting like you know a little bit softer but it was really intense he came back again behind me and shooting shooting all around and then he left eventually he left <coughs> and uh, I still lay there and then I heard the brothers were like more active like that is now kind of you safe. know, he's, he's mm. safer mm. and um, I got up on then this brother he I let go of him and he said I need to see my son and I asked him is he okay he said he's fine alhamdulillah and he went to see where his son is and I stood on my left leg and uh, I called triple one and when I turned to the mimba I saw Imam Gamal standing and red in the face and shock and on his cell phone trying to get through and alhamdulillah i got through to triple one and i said to them they must come as soon as possible and uh, then i start looking around this people in front of me dead one guy in the middle was dead so the people were naturally they went to the corners of the mas masjid mm. And I looked by the, the, the exit door on that side because now I'm looking to the out, mm. to the hallway going out of the masjid. So the, the bimba is that side of me. And um, it was just a big pile of brothers dead and all mixed, but lots of brothers dead and on that far corner. And uh, I just limped out of the, I shouted for a cloth for my, my, my wounds. But uh, naturally, the brothers, they couldn't hear me because uh, they were scared and trying to look after themselves and wherever they could assist. And then I limped out of the masjid um, through the extra room where the, because I think it was an obstruction in the hallway. And uh, I limped out of there and there was a brother laying on his face dead. Went past him and then... Uh, the police was just aiming their rifles through the hallway from the outside of the main doors of the massage. They were aiming it and they said to me, I must put my hands up and <clears throat> I put my hands up and I said I'm injured. And then I just limped out past them and then of the brothers, it was outside to help me to um, get to the, because they said I must be in the front, the outside of the mosque, the mas masjid. Mm. So when I came there, I said I must call my wife and I called her on the same my cell phone. And I said to my wife, I got injured. And then I called work, my manager, I, from Skull Hydraulics, a, 
and um, I said I'm injured. I got shot, and then I just uh, sat down, and the brothers took my belt, tied it around here, and they, one brother gave his jacket and he tied it. No, no ambulance at that time. And yeah, no ambulance. The ambulance, uh, I think they were just basically almost there, yeah. and then. Uh, well, they were just like kind of coming through the traffic because there's lots of traffic jam mm -hmm. and and I'm not sure if it's Downer or Fletcher's or somebody but it was a white uh, a youth, double cab youth and this guys they helped of the brothers of the mosque uh, and this guys they helped three of us inside the youth and uh, took us to the hospital and I came to the hospital and they just cut my clothes off and um, don't have my phone, my wallet, all the stuff they still have it. So it's probably for evidence or I don't know, my keys. So yes, and then I, this is where I came in.